or would you stay? Oh, and if at first you don't succeed, then dust yourself off and try again. You can dust Hello, everyone. Welcome to my live. I am Kayla Losser, owner of You and Co Marketing Agency. Um, today I'm going live with the owner of Pure 21. So excited to hop on live with him. Oh, and he is here. So just feel free to go ahead and send me your request and I'll get you on. Okay, I just sent you an invite. So you should get it. Hey. Hi, how are you? Doing good. Good, good. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to come on live today. Um, I really wanted to start a series where I go live with different entrepreneurs and just kind of talk to them about, you know, the ins and out of their business, you know? Uh-huh. Oh, my bad. I had to put it on the story. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. And it's crazy. I actually came across you on TikTok. Um, I had commented under like one of your posts. And I said, oh, oh I, I think I know which one you're talking about. The one that went viral and then like everybody was commenting on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was like, let me reach out to him and, you know, mm -hmm. see what the secret to success is. But yeah. <laughs> feel free to tell everyone, you know, a little bit about yourself and who you are. Okay, so my name is Tyree Curry. I'm 25 years old. I literally just turned 25 like two months ago, around April. And mm -hmm. I'm from Florida. St. Petersburg, Florida, and I stay out in Tampa, Florida, so I'm um, like 30 minutes away from my hometown. And um, the backstory on why I started Pier 21 is um, a long time ago, like back in high school, I was always low-key insecure with like how I looked and everything because I people people made me I, I'm gonna say it like this: people made me insecure about myself because like I was different from everybody else. You know, yeah. so it's like I didn't look like the average person from from my hometown, which is, you know, from Florida, you know, you're going to see the dude with like dreads and gold teeth and stuff like that. And yeah, I didn't look like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, 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 I didn't look like that. So it was just like I was different. So everybody used to say I was this and that. So like and then I um, one day I looked in the mirror and like I was having like these bumps because I was stressing. Like a lot of people was just like picking on me and this and that. So. Around like 12th grade, I got into skincare and I remember my sister working at Dillard's um, Origins, the company. Mm -hmm. And I remember uh, she used to bring home like some of the products and I used to like steal it. I used to go in the shower and like take some and use it. And I was like, wow, like this actually works. Like these bumps I had for like years is going away. So I was like, you know what? Let me start taking care of my self image and let me go ahead and like really, really like indulge in it and like really really take it serious and like literally that's what happened with pure 21 literally like i'm so into like skincare i'm like you know what let me start something that can like help another person's confidence because that's not a lot of people that's like confident out there mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm i'm pushing this it's like a movement like you don't have to feel insecure about yourself because you look different than anybody else you know everybody yeah everybody is one and you know you can you can be a part of um of anything you just got to build build your self image up and build your confidence up and you can you know take over the world to be honest <laughs> so yeah yeah, yeah you no, know, i i love that story um mm -hmm. you know so many people when they try to start a business it's yeah. hard for them to figure out a message or a meaning behind it yeah. but for instance when it's something that's so personable you know it's easy to market and put it out there you know and yeah. sell so mm -hmm. that's dope so where does the name pure 21 come from like why so, that so pure 21 so pure we we'll gonna break it down. Pure is meaning like the ingredients behind each product is made like organically, like everything is homemade. So it's pure, like pure twenty one. So basically, like pure ingredients. And twenty one is meaning like um, I wish I can have her on this interview too because she's like the brains behind each ingredient, mm -hmm. and she's like a licensed esthetician. But she she okay. told me like twenty one is like the golden age for like wonderful skin. Hmm. Okay. So we just added that in there and then we just made it pure 21 okay. yeah so <laughs> dope yeah. dope yeah that's awesome so like i said i came across you on tiktok and i know that's like mm -hmm. a great way to market your products and whatnot yeah. 
Look, what are some ways you go about, you know, marketing and promoting skincare um, products specifically? So I normally do um, Instagram. Like I mm -hmm. put up polls. I, um, sometimes I would say um, who's interested in making a new, having a new skincare routine. And I would put mm -hmm. me as the first one. And then the second option, you know how it says yes or no? I don't yeah. give a no option. I make sure I make sure it's like a yes option, but in a different way. I will put for the first option me, and then another one. Mm, I would love to give me more information in in that option, and then like most people, they'll be like, give me more information, and then that's when I like you know DM them and bring them to my company, and they look into it like, oh okay okay, and go from there. So mainly I I do it from my Instagram, mm -hmm. and I I talk I talk to a lot of people in person that I know. And they kind of like, you know, know what I'm doing. And they're like, okay, well, continue doing what you're doing. And I'm going to be a customer. So basically, just Instagram and just being out there in person, talking to the people. Yeah. Okay. And, and also TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, TikTok. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Most TikTok. definitely. So, like, what are some struggles you have come across when it comes to, like, figuring out, you know, ideas? To market yourself in your business like what are some of like your biggest struggles you've come across or not even just with marketing just like then developing your business like what are some of your biggest obstacles you've come across mm, i would say um one of my struggles is i mean i feel like i mean because i had a talk with a business owner of his own and he's like doing other things and he told me, like, basically, like, just push my product to, like, big um, influencers. Okay. I, I have a problem with, like, connecting with, like, big influencers because they already have a big platform. And sometimes I know how they how they get. I know mm -hmm. they get a lot of DMs, you know, having these, you know, small businesses trying to, you know, push their products to them and everything. And, you know, I have a hard time, like, connecting with those type of people. But everything else is... I'm doing a good, I'm doing a good job. In a That's, way. Cool. That's good. That's so good. Ba basically, basically like just, you know, connecting with the right people is kind of like my struggle. You know? Yeah. And I was yeah. going to say having a buying audience is very important too, because a lot yeah. of people, they want to go to influencers, you know, to promote their products. But a lot of times there are certain influencers, if their audience isn't like a buyer of the niche product you have, yeah. it's not going to be worth this. We want to spend all this money to have an influencer with, you know, a hundred K followers promote mm -hmm. this product for them, but their yeah. audience may not even be people who are in skincare. You, yeah. Like, you get what I'm saying? So that's yeah. a big thing, too, with influencer marketing, most definitely. Mm -hmm. So when you first started off, like, you know, producing your product and whatnot, yeah. what was the process like for you to find, like, the perfect formula? I know you say you have an esthetician that works with you, but, like, yeah. from her perspective, you could speak on it. Okay. Like, yeah. So, like, um, She's like the brains of everything, and she actually makes the ingredient. But I can just tell when something is off, like um, with my facial creams. Literally, mm -hmm. um, it's a video on my uh, Instagram, on my um, Pure Twenty One Instagram. You can like see like the process and everything. We put it in a pot, we boil the water, and we boil the ingredients, and we melt it down, and then we put the tea tree oil and everything in it. And mm -hmm. then we we have to come to a, a perfect consistency where like the cream is not too watery. And it's not too thick. It's right in the middle. Just like right. that. Like perfect. So um, I can just tell when like something looks watery or like something looks too thick. And I like, you know, I just touch it and like feel it. I'm like, okay, this is the perfect consistency that we need for our facial creams. And it's easy with our oils because we just mix in different mm -hmm. um, liquids. And then we add in the rose petals inside the bottom. So and if you uh, end up ordering the um, oil, you can like look at the bottom. It's like little rose petals in the side. So yeah, mm -hmm. I wish I could just have her and she can like give you more details on it and stuff. Yeah. Oh no, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, we could do another live too where she comes on also and we mm -hmm. can go into detail. That would be dope too. Yeah. But with um, you know, having products, you know, mm -hmm. handmade products you do sometimes get customer complaints because that's a lot to do with quality control. Of so course. if you've had any, like, you know, customers who wanted refunds or issues with the product, how do you as a business owner go about, you know, like rectifying that situation? Um, You know, cause I was always taught this, like, customers is always right. Because I used to work mm -hmm. um, at a grocery store, so, like, customers is always right and everything. So you just got to um, fulfill the customer's needs and everything. Uh, I never had that problem yet. Mm -hmm. Luckily, so I just hope you know 
I can continue going at this pace while I'm doing good um, by my customers and by the people that support me and everything. So even if I do come across that, you know, I just, you know, listen to the customer and just fulfill their needs and go from there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I haven't um, gone too in detail on your website, but I know you do sell different sizes for products. So yeah. how do you like kind of price estimate, you know, the right price for the right size or amount of products? So it's a lot to it. Like mm -hmm. most people, they don't know that I'm spending a lot of money for each for uh, each product. Like my facial creams, I'm averaging like close to a hundred dollars every time I sell out. I gotta rebuy more ingredients for it and like I'm, uh, I'm working on something where like I'm gonna just buy everything in bulk so I don't gotta keep spending money keep spending money keep spending money so that's why I come with my pricing um also like um to make each facial cream like bottle it's cost me about maybe four to five dollars so that's mm -hmm. why my price point is like thirty dollars because I got it in that margin where like I'm not losing money but I'm also mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gaining money and I'm not breaking even, you know? Right. So that's how, that's how I come with my prices. Even with my oils, I'm spending about maybe like $30 and then it costs like maybe 2 or $3 to make each bottle. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how do you yeah. deal with people who may say, um, you know, you're charging, you're overcharging for the products? Like, you know, how do you kind of justify that with people and persuade them to buy, even if that's like a customer complaint? Um. I try not to let that get to me because mm -hmm. I look at it like this. Um, I I remember this guy, he was telling me like most people that you know and you start something like this, they want it for free because they know you. It's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, so it's like, but they're they, they, they they're not asking, you know, Gucci or like Louis Vuitton for anything for free. You know, they got to pay mm -hmm. that price. Mm -hmm. So I tell customers, I mean, like, you're not going to, like, these stores that you're going to or you getting the, the latest shoes. You're not telling them, oh, let me get a discount on it, anything like that, you know. But w what I do for my customers is, like, if they have a complaint about my prices and everything, I do a get discount code. So if you go on my um, website right now, my facial creams, it might seem like it's $30, but when you fully check out, it's $22 discount code, 15% mm -hmm. off. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, so, yeah. That's pretty mm -hmm. decent, though, for quality skincare. That's actually very affordable because if you think about it, you go to these major retailers like, you know, Walgreens yeah. Sephora and whatnot. They sell all these products. That's cheap. That's on the very cheap end. And especially like um, I'm not I'm not looking at, you know, these big re retailers as competition, but I'm just learning, especially because my favorite company is Origins. And like I started mm -hmm. with them and like they did me so so well throughout my life it was just like you know what i'm gonna learn from them i'm gonna see how they make things and do things and um but they're expensive though yeah their, their face of creams is like 40 dollars to like 80 dollars just for like something yeah. small so i'm just like let me go ahead and you know get what people want yeah but that's because the product works and the quality is so high grade so yeah that being said, though, since we're talking about retailers, where do you see Pier 21 in, like, 10 years? Do you want to be, like, in the major retail stores, or would you rather just keep it, you know, like, local? Um, I do see it in, like, big retail stores. Like, I, I do see it, you know, in Walmart. Because, you know, most, um like, Neutrogena and stuff like that, they're a big retail company, and they in Walmart or, like, Walgreens or anything like that. So I'm going to be in those type of stores later on, and then maybe one day, you know, have my own shop in like a mall or something. Mm -hmm. So people can just walk right in and everything. So yeah, I can see that happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, dope, yeah. dope. Yeah. But that being said, what advice would you give to someone looking to start a skincare brand? Um, I would say do your research first before investing all your money into it and get you a licensed esthetician to, you yes. know, help you along the way. <laughs> yeah yeah no. yeah mm -hmm. yeah for sure um but those are all the questions i have for Thank today you. but i would Thank love you. to schedule another live though so we can talk with the esthetician though oh yeah like of, course, of course of course of course yeah I, I know i know like because <laughs> like she's a female so of course like you know you want to ask her more and more and stuff like that and everything and go deeper into that so yeah mm-hmm
Heck yeah, most definitely. Well, thank you so much for joining today's live and we'll most definitely be in communication for sure. So I appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. All right. All right, you take care.